more with less. Florida Governor Rick Scott is on a statewide media blitz saying that's exactly what he's done for Florida in a year of huge budget cuts. Did he and lawmakers get their priorities right? New at 11, News Channel 5's Michael Williams sat down with Scott in our studios for some answers. Michael? Rick Scott, Jim, provided the blueprint. Lawmakers filled it in. He didn't get all he wanted, but he got a lot. From a rollback of growth management laws to education cuts, Rick Scott says less money and less government can be a virtue. Now he has to convince the critics. Environmentalists complain Republican lawmakers have rolled back decades of growth management laws meant to control sprawl in and around your town. Governor Scott, though, defends the move. Will this be another example of developers getting a break because they'll be less likely with less in the way of laws and regulations to have to pay impact fees for schools and roads when they develop, and therefore the normal taxpayer will? You will decide that in your community. I mean, those decisions shouldn't be been be made in Tallahassee, you'll decide on those issues in your local community. On other hot button topics, Scott lost his bid for an Arizona styled crackdown when it came to immigration law and enforcement. Uh, we need to make sure there's no racial profiling. Uh, at the same time, if you're in our state and you're violating our laws, no different than you could ask for your ID, you should be able to ask if you're legal or not. Teachers, police, and other middle class state workers take a 3% pay cut. They must pay that money toward their pensions, a $1 billion projected budget savings. But Scott and lawmakers found money for $60 million in corporate tax cuts. We have a million people out of work. If we don't make this the state, the business people want to do business, we'll never have the money to do these things. So we've got to reduce taxes. But the critics argue that it's the middle class that is being hit hardest by these cuts. We had a wide-ranging interview with Governor Scott, and you can see it in full on this coming Sunday's edition of To the Point at 10 a.m. right after Meet the Press. From the Live Desk, Michael Williams, WPTV News Channel 5.